the idea of the Bricks and Black Panthers came from America. Do you know anything about the American Black Panthers? Well, I know it was States. formed in like 1966, I think was the year, by Huey Newton and uh, I can't remember his name, Seal. Um, Bobby Seal, is it? Anyway, um, the people I most associate with the Black Panthers, because I'm into my books, people like Angela Davis. I suppose Malcolm X was the um, the ideological brainchild or, or the the brain that they tried to emulate, but also significantly Franz Fanon, who's a socialist, um, post-colonial writer, African, and writing about French oppression in Africa. Um, and that's a very, very important source because the roots of the of blacks, most blacks in America, is African slavery and, uh, you know, the throwing away the oppression, the idea that imperialism is capitalism. So they espoused a uh, Marxist-Leninist doctrine and Lenin, you know, imperialism is the highest form of capitalism and within imperialism, the greatest form of exploitation isn't of labor, it's of any resource extraction, including human resources, which was blacks and slaves and how they were used and still continue to be used according to the Black Panther movement in America. And, uh, you know, when the Black Panthers got together, they put together a 10 point plan. And some of the uh, points that they had within the movement were quite significant. Things like um, they wanted freedom from military service. Now, one of the, you know, you think about it, blacks have been used, they were used during World War II when they were still within the countries, and then afterwards when they were allowed to um, be full citizens in the U.S. or even before that, they were used for military service, and they were used as cannon fodder. They were put on the front lines, and that's what they were good for. And so, you know, that was a huge political statement, and if you watch Mike Moore's film, about the Iraq-Afghanistan conflicts, this is still a big problem in America. But it was something that was brought to light by um, minds like, you know, uh, Malcolm X and other, you know, writers and thinkers before him, and by Franz Fanon in Africa. So that's a big thing. Now, the Black Panther movement spread during its still form of influence in the States over to Britain. So the British Black Panthers joined afterwards, but it's a very different group because even though all of them are against the oppression of blacks, particularly by the police, um, the, the sort of forms of institutional uh, racism aren't as strong in the UK as they were in the States because of the slavery movement. And most of the um, groups over in the Britain came from the Af Caribbean region. You know, there are Afro-Caribbean, but it's, you know, a Caribbean on the Windrush. So it's a very different thing. And they came willingly, and they came as full citizens. So there's a big difference in the movements and the ideologies. So um, the British Black Panthers aren't so socialist. Um, and socialism isn't as frowned upon in the UK anyway, as it is in the US where it gets put, you know, Marxist-Leninism is considered communism. And then you think about the whole McCarthy era in the US, the Black Panthers formed not too long after the McCarthy era had already ejected a lot of white communists. So the last thing they needed were black communists. He had gotten together within two years, 50,000 supporters. And uh, the newsletter, the Black Panther went to, well, over a quarter of a million people. That's how many people subscribed to their newsletter. So this was a sort of rising of the revolution that Marx had spoken about. And these guys said, we're not the lumpen proletariat. We've escaped our black, I mean, our false consciousness, and we've got black consciousness, and people were scared. Mm -hmm. So when Angela Davis says that the police tried to frame people and assassinated blacks with any intelligence, with any sort of politicization, there's a lot to support that for you. I'm not going to say <laughs> which side I'm on, but I'm sure, you know, you get an idea.